Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here on 9 News Watch. I'm Chris Bianchi alongside 9 News Sports Director Rod Mackey. We're going to preview the Broncos game coming up on Thursday. And uh, boy, a bit of a rough one back on Sunday. Broncos, before we get to the Browns game, uh, maybe some good news, the Baker Mayfield news. But um, first things first, kind of a disaster on Sunday, right? It, you know what? Disaster really is a good word. I, I did not see this one coming. I really didn't. The Ravens game, I knew that was going to be tough. Baltimore's a great team. Pittsburgh, I figured that was going to be tough going on the road. It's always difficult, especially those early morning games. This Raiders team, obviously, all kinds of distractions with John Gruden and those disgusting emails that he sent out, the resignation of the head coach. This team was struggling. They came in just like the Broncos after winning three in a row. They lost back-to-back -back games. The game is here. When you look at the AFC West, this was the easiest game the Broncos faced. Chargers are a much better team than they are. The Chiefs are a better team than they are. And the Raiders, you look at them being pretty close, so you got home field advantage. Mike Shanahan getting inducted into mm -hmm. the Broncos Ring of Fame. All the Ring of Famers all over the place. But the best Broncos in the house watching this game. So much to play for. The crowd was enthused, and they just went out and laid an egg. This was, this was a bad, bad loss for the Broncos. And with that said, with that game that they should have won, they're not supposed to win at Cleveland on Thursday night. Now you need to go steal that game because you've lost three in a row. If you lose four in a row, it's going to get a little hot for the head coach and other people around there. You've got to take care of business. You really do. This is, this is a big game for the Broncos because they should not have lost that game on Sunday. And especially in the manner you said it. Yeah. They weren't competitive, frankly, throughout yeah. uh, really the entire game. But looking ahead here, I mentioned or kind of alluded to the good news the Broncos have is that Baker Mayfield will not be able to play on Thursday night. A, how much does that help them? And B, does that alter the Broncos game plan at all? Well, the, these these have really got to be two of the most banged up teams in all of the NFL. Mm -hmm. I know it's part of the game and everyone is, but the Broncos um, – are hurting with their quarterback too. We're not we're not positive Teddy Bridgewater. He's going to be a game time decision, I'm guessing. He's questionable right now, so we don't know about the Broncos quarterback. We do know about the Browns quarterback. Baker Mayfield has been dealing with a shoulder issue all season long. He's been trying to say he's going to play through it. They finally said enough. So Case Keenum, yes, the former Bronco from 2018 gives a shot against his old team. It was pretty funny. He had a press conference and he was saying that he actually reached out to Vaughn Miller and the two agreed that when Vaughn got close to him, he would take a knee and not take him out. <laughs> yeah. um, so that that's going to help. Nick Chubb is out for the Browns. That's a big deal. They have like seven other guys that are questionable, key players. So they are getting Cleveland at the right time. It's on a short work week and the Browns are definitely banged up, but thus so are the Broncos. So it's going to be an interesting game as far as backups versus backups, injured guys versus injured guys. Uh, Vaughn's fired up. He was really kind of invisible against the Raiders and been very quiet since those first three games when he was tearing it up. So look for Vaughn to have a big game here. But um, it's, it's going to, it could be backup versus backup as far as quarterbacks go, but we know it's going to at least be Keenum against that Denver team. And again, it would obviously be Drew Locke who would potentially slot in for the Broncos. If Drew goes in. So, yeah, I mean, Teddy's limping. We, we saw him at practice the last couple times. He's limping. They, and this is, they're, they're not practicing. They do these walkthroughs. This is what happens when they do these short little work weeks. Um, it takes these guys several days to recover from games. They're, they're just about recovering when all of a sudden they're playing another game. We talked to Dalton Reisner about it on the huddle. and goes, people don't realize... I mean, they're not just hitting each other. It's like collisions. It's it's brutal what these guys go through. And offensive linemen are different than wide receivers that are different than quarterbacks that are different than running backs. But these Thursday night games are tough. If you want one, you want it at the beginning of the year. Broncos are already six games into the season now. So it's they're, they're hurting a little bit. They're banged up. But it'll be um, – they kept saying, we want to get out there. We want this bad taste out of our mouth because they know that they – had an embarrassing performance on Sunday. So they were saying the right things. They want to get out and play and forget about this thing fast, flush it as soon as we can. But you got to be healthy. Neither team is. So what's your key to the game coming up on Thursday night? Um, if there's part of, part of it is the quarterback. Um, I, I think if Teddy plays, he's going to have to adjust a little bit. He's been getting hit. Even when he's not getting mm -hmm. just the sacks, he's getting hit. He's limping around a lot. So if he plays, he needs to, there has to be some kind of adjustment. He's got to get rid of that ball faster. He's been holding it too long. He's been getting hit. He's not going to hold up all season. He may not hold up Thursday night if this continues. 
The ground game, we've seen it in, in, bunch of, in, in, in small doses at different times. Javante Williams continues to have these spark runs. The hurdle he had was fantastic. Melvin Gordon, I'd love to see these guys be able to establish the run. And what would be nice if some of these questionable guys from the Browns don't play? At the beginning, I thought there was no way they were going to win this game. Now, with all the injuries to Cleveland, I think they've got a shot. Um, not quite hmm. a coin flip. I still think Cleveland probably is a slight favorite, but I think the Broncos have a shot. Before Baker was playing, if Nick Chubb was playing, if some of their stars in defense that are questionable don't play, uh, it, it's, it's, it's more of a coin flip than I thought it was going to be. I think it's going to be tough, and, and that would be four straight setbacks, and that wouldn't be good. They, they've got to bounce back. They have to. After what happened against the Raiders, they have to win this game. And that's interesting because last week you were saying that this would be the toughest game, yeah. but now – I mean, maybe with again, yeah, because the I thought they would win that game. They had to win that game, and they didn't. So now you got to go steal one that you're not supposed to win, and that's the Browns game. You're not supposed to. They're not supposed to win. They have to because they lost a game that they really should have and needed to win. So are you ready to go on the record with a prediction for this one? Yeah, sure, I, I will. Um, <laughs> I'm going to change it up. I'm going to say Browns win because I've been jinxing the Broncos the last three games. So I'm going to say Browns win 17-16 and hope the Mackie jinx pays off for Denver and Denver wins the thing. But it's <laughs> it's going to be tight. It's going to be hard. Hard fought game. Can I skip ahead and say what happens? You're alluding to some of those possible consequences if the Broncos do lose this game. What are some of those possible consequences? I mean, there's been, there's been talk. What do you do? Do you change the offensive coordinator? Do you change the quarterback? Do you change the head coach? You know, it's one of those things. If you, if, if you keep doing something that's not working – you got to change something. Unfortunately, Chris, it looks like what we talked about at the beginning of the season and the players kept saying, no, that's not the case. We were saying, well, yeah, they've won, but they beat the Giants, the Jags, and the Jets. Those teams still have a combined three wins. Three teams combined three wins. We're getting ready for week number seven. So they are what they thought we were. They're terrible teams. Then you play good teams like the Ravens, the Steelers, and the Raiders who all have winning records, who all have won at least three games, and Denver's lost to them. So what are the Broncos? I think they're an okay team. I think they're, unfortunately, what we thought they might be at the beginning when I predicted like an eight or nine or nine or nine and eight season. They're right in the middle. They've got to get some momentum. they got to, they got to do this. So instead of if, – if they lose this game next week, we might get into some of those what-ifs, what are they going to do, because now you've got a 10-day break too, because this is the good mm. part about a Thursday night game. Now you've got a lot of time, and sometimes when moves are made, it's made after that. Um, if they take care of business against Cleveland, they won't have to change anything, so let's hope that's the case. I, I don't want to have to deal with that over the next 10 days. So just go out, take care of the Browns, surprise some people. Well, it's unbelievable, honestly, we're talking about this, considering where we were a few weeks ago, and the Broncos weren't just beating teams. They beat – um, they hammered them, but they, they were, hammered bad teams. They hammered, they bad, hammered teams. bad teams. Still on the that's road why twice. I thought the Raiders, you know. That's why I thought the Raiders game was one of those. They like, they like to say measuring sticks. I think this one is too. They win this game, a lot of people are going, yeah, but the Browns are banged up. But still, you win a road game there. That's three road wins yeah. in four, uh, yeah. so, four tries. That's, that's certainly impressive. If you're going to beat them, this is the time to beat them. This is the one this chance. Much, much, but much better team with Baker than without them. Nothing against Case. Well, a little bit against Case. Baker's a better player than Case Keenum. <laughs> the old quarterback from 2018, yeah. Case Keenum. Yeah. Well, Ron Mackey, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the Broncos do get yeah, that win again. We need Broncos. to take care of this game. Broncos Browns Thursday night. Thanks for joining us here on 9 News Watch. And again, we'll check back in next week as well.